In general, Update 20 has turned out to be quite a disappointing update for quite a few reasons. The major of those reasons that most people point out is that this is actually one of the smallest updates that we've ever had up to date in Pet Simulator 99 with very little to no content actually being added in this week's update. Now regarding that, we did get an update from the devs themselves on why this update might be this small, but we will go over that in a second. But besides this update just lacking content overall, it turns out the one major thing that they did end up adding in this update just doesn't even work at all which led me to wasting almost 1 billion diamonds on this update alone. Now we'll talk about all of this stuff and what you guys should be doing within Pet Simulator 99 right now, but if this video does help you out, just give it a like and subscribe. It helps out my channel tremendously, so thank you guys for that. Now let's just get right into how this update absolutely sucks. All right, you guys, so as many of you guys know, the Wraith upgrades are pretty much the sole feature of this week's update. Besides that, we only got a few things like the brand new exclusive edit and essentially that is it essentially all we got was the new exclusive egg and this forever pack so it's basically two pay to win features so pretty much zero content besides this rave upgrade machine now yesterday i was supposed to upload a video on the best way to get the rave tickets and which upgrades you should be purchasing just so you could be as efficient as possible with your ticket purchases but unfortunately from that thorough testing that i was doing i found some very concerning news about how this actually works but really quickly i I will show you my general setup for how to farm this area the quickest. Now, if you want a more thorough video, you can watch my video last week that I made on how to grind this area the fastest. But essentially from last week, my enchant loadout has not changed much. Now, I had a lot of people questioning why I'm using large taps for this area. But really quickly, let me demonstrate on how good this actually is. So if I just click right now, look at <laughs> look at that crazy AOE that I do with these clicks. So every click that I'm doing with these stacked large taps is essentially hitting like five breakables around it. Now this combined with this auto tap feature is pretty much just destroying this floor by itself. And this is with absolutely zero pets. So look at how much this actually farms. And essentially this is only with those two large tap books. And then of course, sometimes the super lightning as well as the regular lightning procs and it does an even bigger area. But overall, this is very good farming for just two enchant slots. And from testing, there are no better two enchants that could fit those slots. I tested this with the nightmare orbs as well as lightning orbs and pretty much everything else you could possibly think of. And this is the best way to farm this area. This enchant loadout combined with using whatever 15 pets you have will be able to clear this area pretty well. But yeah, really quickly, I will show you guys again. Essentially, I just use the super lightning, the regular lightning, and then two large taps. And then for my pets, I use the explosive, the two speed fives and happy pets. So if I use this combined with having a full team going, I can pretty much clear this area solo. And this is going to allow me to get as many of these lucky tile rerolls as possible. And then of course, using the pet surge ultimate is pretty much the best. But if you also want to clear breakables even faster, you can also use the tsunami. Another decent ultimate would be the UFO as well, because I think the UFO ultimate charges up even quicker than the tsunami one. But pet surge is also pretty good and that's honestly what I've been using. Now anyways, if I put away all of these pets and turn auto tap off, we can actually do some testing here to show you how this stuff actually works. But the bad news that I figured out from testing all of these rave upgrades is that they essentially just do not work at all. So if I go into this rave upgrade machine, you guys will see that I have maxed out rave ticket chance as well as maxed out double items chance. Now, if you guys know, this double items chance to get maxed out is so expensive. I think it's around 5,000 tickets, might even be more. But as you guys know, there's no possible way that I was able to grind all 5,000 of these tickets for this right here. So I was actually forced to go ahead and buy a bunch of these from the trading plaza. And that's how I ended up wasting a billion diamonds. Because as it turns out, this double items chance is actually fake or it's turned off or it doesn't work or the devs just broke it somehow but over the past couple days i've done hundreds of these tile rerolls and i have not gotten double items once and as you guys can see it's supposed to be a hundred percent chance for double items from these lucky tiles so if i equip my pets again and turn on auto taps 
where you can wait for this lucky tiles reroll to go. You can see for yourself that we do not get double items, even though we're supposed to have a 100% chance at getting it. So as you can see, we got one tap power book. Tap power is an item, so supposedly we should have gotten two of those books from that drop. Now, I was concerned that maybe I just wasn't seeing it pop up double here in the item feed and that I actually was getting double the items in my inventory. But this is also not the case because I have tested by scrolling through my inventory and keeping track of everything I have. And then once I get the item, I double check my inventory again and I still didn't get two of those items from the drop. But essentially, that is the major problem with this update and why it absolutely sucks. Now, another important thing to know is that pretty much double items is the only one that you can officially test on this list of upgrades because all of these other upgrades are just an additional chance to either upgrade or an additional chance for drops. So it's impossible to get a true test about if these upgrades are actually working. As you guys can see, I have a plus 50% ticket chance from Lucky Tiles. Now, personally, from experience, it does seem like I do get more of these ticket upgrades from the Lucky Tiles ever since getting this upgrade. But truly, there is no way to actually test this out. It is all going to be RNG based, and I can't go through enough of these tiles every day to get an official test about whether or not this is working same thing goes with the huge chance as well so it's pretty much impossible to tell whether or not this one is working but another one that we can try is actually this plus 75 percent damage upgrade now i've saved this last damage upgrade so that we can test it for this video but personally from doing previous tests the upgrade to my damage actually didn't do anything for this world now i think the main reason on why it didn't work before is because i was already at the the damage cap for this area so my hugest can't do any more damage which pretty much means that my rainbow happy rock here is doing the same amount of damage as my base level huge as you can see we just got another grave ticket and it didn't double so <laughs> you guys can see that for yourselves but if we put away all of our pets here and turn off auto taps we can actually pull out a lower damage dealing pet and then we can see if that increase in damage actually works so let's just pull out some like really low level stat pet and see how much damage it does to certain breakables so if we go over here we could see it's doing 10.9k damage now i'm gonna go over here and then upgrade the damage one last time to max and let's see if it does any more damage so as you can see it is still doing 10.9k damage to the same breakable that it was doing before and after so let's get it to hit like one of these breakables again so that we can see and as you can see it is still hitting the same type of breakable and is only doing 10.9k damage which means that damage upgrade doesn't work at all so basically the only two upgrades that are in this machine that we can actually test without a doubt seem to not be working at all which really leads me to believe that this huge chance and the ticket chance upgrade also don't work as well as whatever other upgrades upgrades are in this machine obviously we can't test them so it's going to be hard to say for sure but that is extremely disappointing considering how much diamonds i've spent on these upgrades i thought i could potentially make some profit and show you guys a way of making profit if i got these upgrades really early in the update and then went ahead and sold all of the huges as well as the tickets and everything else i got now if this 50 percent ticket chance as well as the huge chance does work in these upgrades one thing that i have heard from people is that stacking accounts on one single tile is the best way to do this because essentially if you have like up to 10 accounts on one tile and each account has a plus 50% ticket chance from lucky tiles that's essentially giving you a plus like 500% ticket chance and if you have all 10 accounts on that one tile you're going to be getting an absolute load of tickets but again there's no sure way that I can tell you if this ticket chance is working or not as well as the huge upgrade I definitely wouldn't go out of your way to buy any of these upgrades because I don't think any of them are working and in a situation like this I'm not sure what the devs can really do to make this better because I've already spent somewhere between 500 million and a billion diamonds on these upgrade tickets and the updates already been out for two days so even if they do end up fixing this upgrade sometime during the week we still lost all of that time that we could have been using this upgrade and it's not really fair to all the people who went ahead and bought these upgrade tickets thinking that god forbid the content in the update actually works 
and we did get word from the developers about why this update might not have had as much content as previous ones because another content creator by the name of numerous tweeted out on twitter saying hands down the smallest pet sim 99 update ever now a lot of people in the community did agree with this tweet and preston himself actually replied to it saying we are on vacation so it looks like i guess the developers or the staff team for big games are taking this time as a vacation and that's why this week's update really didn't have all that much content now i also assume that this is why they pushed back that exclusive egg dropping another week so that they could include it in this week's update as they already knew ahead of time that they wouldn't have enough content for this to be a good update so despite the whole big games team essentially being on vacation and not doing anything for this week's update at all the main content that they did end up including and developing for this week doesn't even work and we haven't got word from the developers about when this might be fixed or even even that this is an issue that exists the average player in petson probably doesn't even know these upgrades don't work so there's probably going to be many many people that do waste their money on getting these upgrades and buying them and they will then see for themselves that these upgrades don't work and then funny enough preston also tweeted out yesterday flexing his orange lamborghini so i guess these guys are on vacation flexing their nice cars built off their community and just not really doing much so while Preston is off on some lavish vacation driving around his orange Lamborghini, we're stuck in pet sim with a broken game where the inventory is barely working. My game isn't loading half the time. I had to join this world like five times to get the world to even load the right way. Milking the fact that every week content creators and players alike wasting their money on stupid stuff like this disco pack and new exclusive eggs, despite them pretty much adding no content to the game. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think about this update and what you guys have experienced so far i've talked to numerous people in the community who has had the same experience with these rave upgrades and saying that none of them have worked for them at all but i have talked to a few people that say that the ticket chance has been working but as we have tested in this video the double items chance as well as the damage upgrade do not work at all and there is no guaranteed way we can test these two so if i were you guys i would just be selling your tickets don't waste your time or your diamonds buying these tickets so that you can upgrade on top of all of this the rave world is going to be gone in the update on saturday so there really is no point to upgrading for just five days anyways either way let me know down in the comments what you guys think and if you guys are still playing this update also let me know what kind of videos you're looking for i have a few ideas for the videos for this week because obviously i can't make any content around new stuff in the game because obviously there's no new content that i can make videos about so if there's anything you've been looking for or want from a video let me know down there thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out